I am at a festival with my van, with some other friends. We are camping here together and there are events on and later on tonight there is an open mic talent, no talent show, reminding her that her voice deserves to be heard. and I'm so happy. Hello everybody, welcome back to another day. And today we're going to be turning one jar of pickles into a lot of jars of pickles. I'm really excited. I have half an onion and this beautiful red cabbage and pickles are so freaking tasty and good for the one's guts. So, I like to use a jar of pickles as my base and then build on it um, and it just gets better and better the more you do it. So I'm going to get pull out my pickling spices, cut up the onion, cut up the cabbage and then we're going to fill these four jars with pickles. juice. There's nothing quite like it. I will be topping that back up with vinegar. Apple cider vinegar as I go. Mm. I love a good pickle. <clears throat> Let's do the onion first. Get the crying out of the way. If I cut it quickly, it will not hurt my eyes. There's something to be said for making small spaces work as a homesteading kitchen. I am only limited by my ability to store stuff by space. But in preparing food like this feels more like preparation for the future, building my skills and experience. Dreaming of one day a big old garden where I'll have my own pickling cukes growing. I'm all out of sugar, so I'm gonna sweeten my pickles with a big dollop of honey and several big cabbages of many kinds maybe my own onions and garlics too maybe instead of traditional pickling spices some homegrown herbs trying to use less processed white sugar means finding other forms of sweetness to offset the acid I just think cabbages are so beautiful look at that it's like art I'm using this original pickle liquid out of this pickle jar um, as a base flavor and then adding a little more pickling spices but not much and then adding more apple cider vinegar. As the vinegar softens the cabbage, more room in the jar will be able to appear and I'll about to shake it and mix the honey in more. Mm. Yum. And to give you an idea, I opened this bottle this morning. So if you were doing non-refrigerated pickles, you might need a higher acidity or pickling vinegar. These are fridge quick fridge pickles so we'll just be fine as it is i'm 
I really need to go shopping. But I'm going to be moving to a different island this weekend. So I'll get to go to some farm stands. I'm really excited about that. With the leftover cabbage, I was starting to get a little peckish. And I had a pot of leftover rice to add to the mix. Cabbage, pickles, rice, nuts, seeds, all mixed together with a delicious, delicious miso garlic vinaigrette with nutritional yeast, coconut oil and vinegar, sweetened with a little honey. And I'm going to put some of this on my salad too. Liberally. Garlic miso vinaigrette is exactly essentially what this is. Tasty. The salad topped off with some sesame seeds and salt, seaweed salt was so, so delicious. I'm so, so lucky to have a tiny little plot of garden that I come to check in on every so often. We're gonna have some squashes real soon. There's so many. This is a patty pan. And this year I'm growing squashes, zucchini and tomatoes and a few herbs. Not very many plants, but hopefully a high yield of food. Mmm, yum. How delightful to top off a delicious salad with a hearty meal with some delicious fresh herbs and tomatoes. Yum. Nice finishing touch. Fresh tomatoes, basil. And you have a small garden this year, but worth it. In a previous video, you saw me make and preparing mango chutney and a relish with apricots. A day or so later, after I put the last video out, I brought the preserves back to temperature and got to work canning. Some of this will be gifts, and some will make for delicious goodness for those winter afternoons and dinners. I can't make to wait more tomato relish too with the green tomatoes at the end of harvest. Harvesting wild flowers, fruits and squashes. Oh, so yummy. Mm. And there are so many more. Wow. Leaving, moving, and getting back on the road is an almost weekly thing for me where I've stayed in place for a few days. This time, I'm off to a small local Sorry. festival. A gathering of vans, RVs and campers. Gathering in community to make new friends, dance and laugh. It's so amazing what a privilege to have to be safe. And 
have experiences that change you as a human. are heart-opening and life-changing. Having a home on wheels feels like such a precious thing. To bring my van to places like this. Having all my amenities of home with me. It's my night light. I love this candle. To be able to share space, resources with friends, share food, relax and laugh together fills my heart with joy this cable here and then I found on the internet this and an adapter um, so that I can charge my laptop from 12 volt instead of using the inverter at 120 it's fantastic but while we did our electrical this socket here um, we accidentally wired something up the wrong way when testing so it doesn't work like you can turn off no no, no worky. So I have just a replacement. E to install it. Oh look, missing fuse. Let me find a fuse. And as usual, I'm always working on projects in the van wherever I am. <laughs> Today, I'm working on repairing an electrical switch that has stopped working. A simple electrical fitting that is probably just a switch. All right, we'll go inside and check. It works. Amazing. A simple electrical fitting that is just a switch out with new heat shrink connectors. Hopefully, this fixes the problem. Laptop is charging. Ignore this voltage, that is incorrect. The correct voltage is that. As this will be my main computer charging port, having found a 12 volt adapter that can charge my Mac instead of running my power drawer through the inverter. So I am at a festival with my van, with some other friends, we're camping here together and there are events on and later on tonight there is an open mic talent, no talent show. And I years ago used to do a lot of burlesque performing in Australia and New Zealand and I've sold most of everything, stopped doing it, just kind of retired, used to promote an event of my own um, and it toured around New Zealand and Australia but I think now um, I'm tempted to bust out a costume and get on stage and dance and perform I haven't performed in ages so I first of all need to check whether the costume even still fits me so I've pulled it out let's go see in my younger days, I lived for performing. I loved being on stage. As somebody who's more introverted and socially awkward, performing meant being part of the event without having to make tons of small talk. Can I wear this tonight? Yes. <laughs> Busting out all of my festival sequins. Being there but not having to put myself in vulnerable positions, 
where I felt like I couldn't make conversation or connection. I had the energy and loved being around people, but without having to talk to them. Ha! <laughs> How amusing. I plan to talk about this a lot more in an upcoming video. There is a grief process that happens as one gets older and our bodies change. What was is not what is now or what will be in future. It is an adjustment. How much effort was invested to lead us astray, but we will not come quietly. Ah. Well, there's another thing that they tried to take our way, our rights to exclaim our orgasms ecstatically. No, we will not come quietly. Oh. We will open <laughs> our mouths and let our spells spill out, cast poetic prayers into the night so every woman can hear the howl of her sister's delight, reminding her that her voice deserves to be heard. <sighs> tidied up but I just went to the hardware store because it's very hot out and I've been wanting a shower so now I have a shower I unplug that end of my faucet and I have this shower head and I got a Audi to Audi plug and look at this big long long cable and if I turn this to off. Oh, that leaks. Okay. <laughs> what I did get to prevent this issue is some washers. Let's turn that off. Undo this. A little washer. Go in there. I bet again. Okay. Oh. Okay, it leaks terribly, but it works. But okay. How oh, this end needs a washer. Put that in there. Try again. I might just mop up before I do more. summer and I can test this. Okay, take three. So a washer at that end. Have a shower, have a shower, have a shower, have a shower. Yay! There's one floor in my house. Okay. <sighs> Three humans, one dog. We all feel a lot more refreshed. And I'm very shower works and I'm so happy <sighs> I think the next thing I'll do with the shower is I have to re-dye my hair very badly so I will be showering after I do that I am slowly working towards more long distance travel being able to work without having to rely on going somewhere to plug in my batteries every four to five days and doing so out of cell range <laughs> So like most other digital nomads out there, I have recently gotten satellite internet. 
I've definitely been procrastinating on getting it all set up and connected. But since there was terrible connection at this event, this van gathering, it was all the motivation I needed to pull it out and set it up. Right. Battery's at 70%. Power is applied. Right. I think now I have to go and get the app. But let's go see if the thing is moving. Is it? Is it moving? It's not moving. I currently have the Starlink connected out there and I'm just in here and it's not drawing that much. I mean, I'm not doing any massive uploads or anything, but I'm going to keep monitoring this because I'm really curious to see like what the voltage intake is as it does its thing. I was hoping I'd get that done this weekend. I'm taking a break from people because it is hot outside, there are people everywhere, and this is what I love about having a van is I can retreat in here despite festival festivities happening and just take some downtime. And the thing that I think people often forget to do is eat. And I have had a salad earlier, but I really need to eat something, so I'm gonna go and Give myself some food, but yeah. It's going well. Sunset feels like the intermission between daytime and the evening festivities. The moment when the first musicians come on to sound check or ambient music starts to gently call everyone with their itchy feet or desires to connect. with their fellow humans out from their cool hiding places, the orchard, under trees, or in their vehicles, campers, or vans. It felt magical to be here, connecting with sweet humans who really made an impression on my life, being surrounded by my chosen family, filling my heart with joy till it overflowed. This, this is why I live in a van. Falling in love with Siren, I feel the satisfaction of creating a life that brings me so much joy. And the opportunities to experience these amazing places, connections. And you know what? I want that for all of us. Everyone whose hearts might be filled with that kind of longing. Morning. Cool, crisp mornings, no agenda. No place to be. No noise. Quietness. Just the fullness in my heart. Gratitude and appreciation for all the volunteers. The hard work of the folk who make these events happen. <sighs> Just wow. I feel inside of me plans and dreams of traveling further and wider. Maybe heading north. Maybe heading down to Arizona again this winter. But this time in Siren, my step van. I love the early. when the air still smells damp. It's beautiful. Feels like a pull I cannot ignore. I hope you find this video something that empowers you to go out there, try new things, preserve those berries and fruit that grow locally around you, plant something this spring for you Southern Hemispherians, or we'll leave the house and go on an adventure somewhere. It's been a great camping weekend. I have such a fun time. 
everything's packed up in the van again, ready to go to the beach, meet up with a friend, eat some food. Look at that shadow. Got my towel. Let's go to the beach, take some water. I've been melting all day, packing up camp. It was hot and I was out of the van. The van was nice and cool because this van is, stays cool so well. It was time to go for a swim. Yeah. I thought that was a bobcat for a second, but it's just a really long haired cat. Ooh. Sometimes parking this bigger vehicle is challenging. That's so beautiful. I know you can do it and it will make your life so much richer for doing so. If you want to see more of my poem performance, check out the full video on Patreon. And as always, it means so much to me that you come here and watch every week. I read all your comments and try to eventually get around to replying to them all. If you have any friends who might enjoy watching these videos too, please share it with them. It really helps me out. Maybe they could do with a joyful pep talk too. I appreciate the audience and community that gathers here with me so much every week. You're changing my life, hopefully, as much as I can share with you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye.